Hey, hey folks, and welcome to the latest installment of Dave's Impressions. This time around, Sonic Mania. These impressions were taken from playing the game for around 30 minutes. Enjoy! Playing Sonic Mania reminded me of the classic Sonic the Hedgehog games on the Mega Drive. I was lucky as a kid that a friend down the road had first a Master System and then a Mega Drive, which allowed me to play both versions of Sonic 1 and 2 games I have quite a fond memory of. What I've played so far of Sonic Mania definitely evokes those classic titles. Things start off by having the player run through familiar and nostalgic stages like Green Hill Zone and Chemical Plant Zone. Level 1 is a greatest hits version of these stages, while level 2 adds a new mechanic to proceedings. Green Hill Zone introduces flying foxes to ride on, while Chemical Plant Zone introduces bouncing gel. What is this, Portal 2? These changes are novel enough to make me wonder just what is coming next. What classic stage, and what will be added to it? The bosses followed this pattern too. I was expecting to fight Robotnik in his strange contraptions, but I wasn't expecting a group of robot servants, or the strange forms of the Eggman I got. In Green Hill Zone, we get to fight Mecha Robotnik, but in Chemical Plant Zone, I found myself versing him at Mean Bean Machine. I wonder if Sonic Spinball is in this game. The levels are as large as ever. What I've always loved about Sonic levels is when they're done well, it feels like there are dozens of different paths through them. Now I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, there's only a couple paths through the level, if that. But the illusion being there, that's the important part. It's been a while since I last played any Sonic game, but Sonic Mania made me realize something about the rings mechanic, being able to recover rings after taking damage to further protect Sonic. The positives of it are that the player can keep moving forward. As long as you have one ring, and it's always fairly easy to have at least one ring, especially with Tails there. However, because of the speed of Sonic going through the level, and that I had no idea what was around the corner, what the enemies were going to do, or where their hitboxes were, I kept getting hit and losing rings. Yes, I'm moving forward, but getting hit all the time creates negative reinforcement. It feels like because I'm consistently getting hit, I'm not playing the game optimally. And because I'm not playing the game optimally, I can't lose myself in the role of playing Sonic the Hedgehog. It feels like an intimate familiarity of the levels is needed to execute the power fantasy the game is promising the player. So, should you play Sonic Mania? Well, this is one of those videos where I tell you that if you're a Sonic the Hedgehog fan, you've likely already played this. It feels like this is not only the best 2D Sonic game in some time, but one of the best Sonic games in some time. Unless you're not in the mood for a 2D platformer starring a fast blue hedgehog, I think you'll have a good time here. As always, I'd love to hear what you think of Sonic Mania down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, why not buy me a coffee? There's a link in the description. If you'd like to help me out in other ways, please give the video a like, share it on your favorite social media sites, or subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, I hope you're all having a wonderful day.